Professor Ram Chandraji Bhatt Kotevane was our father, Vice Chancellor of Isyasa Yoga University. He is also the director of Veda Vijnana Gurukula, run by Sandeena Hadi to Janateva Trust. Professor Ram Chandraji Bhatt is an outstanding scholar in Sanskrit. Traditionally, he has learned in Patashala. Apart from that, he has been a professor. He has studied in the modern system, also education system. He is a thinker, a creative speaker, and also an educationist. He is also the convener of the World Gurukula system. Now, under the aegis of our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, a, an initiative has been taken where to revive the Gurukulas in the country all over the world. He is the convener to engage in that activity to promote the Gurukula system of education and to restore and revive the Shastric tradition, Shastric learning, in which he has spent his whole life as tapas. And he is the author of a number of uh, books, articles published in peer-reviewed journals, and international journals, national journals. And also he is the editor-in-chief, he was the editor, -in editor of our iJoy, International Joy of Yoga, published by Svyasa Yoga University. And also Shruti Shobha, a Sanskrit journal published by Veda Vijnana, research journal published by Veda Vijnana, Shodha, Shodha Samsthana. Then he was invited and also gave a set of lectures on specialized topics in Ireland, in Ireland few years ago. And he is a man of Vedas, not only just theory but also practical in nature where he is trying to promote Veda as science and through our Anveshna laboratory he has guided and done a lot of research as to how the ancient methodology of or performance of Yaga and Yajna could drive away pollution in the environment, could drive away the chlorofluorocarbons, the CFOs. So he has done the research which have been published. So we are most honored to have his eminent presence and erudite scholarship and he has come forward voluntarily to share his you know, unfathomable knowledge on various aspects of yoga and especially yoga vasista. So he is going to give lectures every Saturday, 2 to 3. You may be knowing that from our syllabus or you will come to know. Yoga vasista is a very predominant treatise or a shastra on yoga and he has studied that very well, lectured all over India and the world and he will be introducing you to the nuances of Yoga Vasistha. Let us start with Mumbai Shoka in our tradition. Mangal Shloka has its own unique auspicious significance attached to it. So the first shloka in every treatise it will be called Mangal Shloka. Why Mangalam? Because our passage must be hurdle free. It is only by divine grace. That is why, according to their own tradition, they offer their obeisance or their Namaskara, Ashir Vachana, Ashir Namaskriya, Vastuni Deshava, Pitan Mukham. There are three types of Mangal Shlokas possible. One is just invoking blessings from the unseen forces. 
नमस्क्रिया इट इज ऑफरिंग अष्टविध नमस्कार एक टाइप ऑफ सेल्युटेशन इज इज नॉट वन टाइप ऑफ उरसा शिरसा दृष्टिया मनसा वचसा प्रभ्याम कराभ्याम करनाभ्याम प्रणाम अष्टांग उच्चते वी नॉर्मली वी राइट अष्टांग नमस्कार वाजी अष्टांग उरसा फ्रॉम द चेस्ट Shirasam head, drishtya by eye, fixing eye on that idol, sanctum sanctorium. Manasa, thangalizing the whole mental energy on that divine abode. Vachasa, and chanting many shlokas. So, urasa, shirasa, drishtya, manasa. टू लेग्स टू फीट करनाभ्यामस्कार तथा Sarva 
phonic very important it is when time people sing but there will be no harmony there will be cacophony no if we want only harmony okay this type of harmony we want to bring at our psychic level then many time imbalance takes place even very great heroes like sri ramachandra also sometime loses the tikuli prema that is the main background for this wonderful magnum opus yoga vasishtha comprising 32 thousands shlokas this is only very much a bridge form what we can say anthology or it is because here we have only 6000 it is lagu yoga vasishtha okay so on this basis of this we develop this psycho synthetical study not psycho analysis psycho analysis it is very much very well vehemently done by the great psychologist who is the fellow sigmund freud oscar wilde called jung they are also called great psychologist of western origin from our eastern origin we have great master but they are not for psychoanalysis when you go for analysis you go on cutting and cutting and dissecting and dissecting so there will be no comprehensive understanding that is why we take our indian script for psychosynthesis mano samshleshana not mano vishleshana then you know, uh, our traditional way of treatment or healing it is very much based on psychosynthesis and uh, physio psychosynthesis that is what our ayurveda projects you know or the ayurveda ayurveda who are the masters of ayurveda sushruta charaka vamaha they go for what they take psycho synthesis why because even though it has five sheets but it is not something isolated segregated nothing compartmental departmental apartmental everything what continent for us clear what is the word i have used everything continental nothing nothing departmental nothing apartmental nothing Compartment. We remain wrong everywhere we go for descent, cutting and cutting, and make many departments, departments, compartments. So our understanding becomes very much lopsided. But then, lopsided. But if we study yoga vasistha, it is very much comprehensive, all-inclusive, holistic. So what does it mean? Uh, holistic. Why holistic? 
because it is very much in the form of daya if you go to many foreign scriptures there it is every time sarvam on the mountains sarvam from the mountain ha वो पहाड़ के ऊपर कोई महात्मा प्रवादी खड़ा होता है वह उपदेश देता है और नीचे है आपने जो कहा सच है जी हुजूर जी हुजूर जी हुजूर करके निकलते हैं इट इज कॉल्ड वॉट सरमन सरमन from the mountains that is what uh, moses got it from all ten commandments he got from the top of the mountains ten commandments all these are like that but in indian rishi parampara rishi ini nothing comes from the top of the mountain nothing will be dropped from the heaven abruptly never nothing falls from the clouds but it never just from very core part of the earth so rama he is from earth sita you know she is who is the janaka janaki but actually she is from very earth symbolically it is that means they were very close to the earth that is how rama also like that sita also like that and his master very great master who is he this is the vasishta vasishta he is from the roots so our people they are from some of them from woods some of them from muds sita rama they are from muds and vasishta is from woods <laughs> that is how the whole philosophy which emerges in our generation in our lineage very much cemented with very much integrated with kumata But one thing is that when we are very nearer to mud and wood, we will be having so much suffering also. Suffering. Heavenly people sometimes may not undergo any sufferings because they are heavenly people. Oh, what is that calling? ओ स्वर्ग दंदिर मनन तंदे ओ माय हेवनली फादर फादर फॉरगिव मी नो इन अवर ट्रेडिशन नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ फॉरगिव मी नो फॉरगिव ओनली इट इज सेल्फ रिपेंटेंस सेल्फ रिपेंटेंस मींस इट इज आउट ऑफ सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन सो अकॉर्डिंग टू योग वासिष्ठ व्हाट इज योग मन प्रशम my make mind tranquilize our nimham doctors they use what tranquilize that uh, is why no tranquilization by yoga whatever calmness we invoke it is not by tranquilizes but it is by calming method so calming method is different tranquilizing is okay yoga vasishta takes what coming 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 
but before go to adopt common method we must go for mind reading method so that here are two things mind reading technique and mind common method m r t and m t t correct mind transformation technique so when is what m r t that means mind reading technique second one mind transformation technique do two techniques or very well summarized in this big magnum opus so is maha sindhu mein hum kuch bindu lenge bas nashur this is as big as maha sindhu sindhu means what samudra from this sindhu what we do here sam Okay. So two things: M R T and M T T. What is there in this big Yoga Sutra? Only two sir. What two? M R T and M T T. Very easy. Oh, you understood it whole thing now. Ah, so you go somewhere where I am here. स All four were studying there. Home schooling. So many acharyas used to come to their palace, and uh, because of that extraordinary divine power, Rama, Lakshmana, Varuna, Shiva, all they mastered all those formal education, schooling, everything within a very small, very short span of time. But as Rama has took on more and more this formal education, three hours reading, reading, arithmetic, he developed some sort of aversion, <coughs> aversion about the world outside. Okay. He was not interested. Many students become like that now also. More and more, you send your children for uh, this school, that school, or what to do, children, this and that. Children will be fed up with this school in the society. That is called this school. Uh, that word is very popular nowadays. This school, not schooling. school a great education it from from mexico his name is ivan ilich ivan ilich wrote a book called the school in the society arthat samaj ko school se bachao samaj ko school se bachao Please protect our society from schooling. That is the meaning of this school in the society. That type of book you have studied. अर्थात क्या है? ये छोटे-छोटे नन्हे मुन्ने तीन वर्ष से ही इतने बोल उठाकर लाकर जाते हैं। हमको देखते-देखते भय होता है छोटे नब्बे नन्हे। यहाँ दाल के बस में बैठते हैं, है? जाते हैं आते हैं ये क्या शाप करते हैं क्या क्या शाप करते हैं छोटे नन्हे मुन्ने बच्चे सो बाय सीइंग आर दिस थिंग्स मेनी ग्रेट्स एक और इस लाइक आई वांट स्टिल आई वांट इलिच 
they have written the Gandhava books. Uh, Rama, actually Rama was the first man to revolt against this formal type of mm. schooling. schooling. Twinkle, twinkle, little stars. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the. Eh? Kya beta? Twinkle, twinkle, little stars. Because this is an important insight here. Mm. So, uh, apparently he developed some sort of uh, depression. Now, was not happy. Every time he used to be in a very solitary place, isolated. What happened? What happened? What happened? Huh? And uh, by this type of uh, psychic uh, problem, depression type thing, he became weaker and weaker every day as days passed. Lama, huh? he developed very peculiar type of Psychic problem, depression in this modern psychological term, that is problem. That is how this story starts. Just an introduction to this whole thing I just. So, in this type of uh, situation, Vishwamitra comes to Rama's palace. The sister is always already there. Vishwamitra's planning was that to take Rama to the public school so that under that or that not within four walls under the divine sky Chitakasha, Chitakasha and Mahakasha he wanted to import education oh that is why he came to the Shalta and requested him to send Rama Lakshmana along with him to Siddhashrama. Siddhashrama was the wonderful, great specimen of that time for Gurukula education. It was organized by Vishwamitra. That is how the story starts. So you see this beautiful introductory part of this whole treatise. Now let us understand the meaning of this Mangal Shloka today. Tasmai Sarvatmane Nama Sarvatmane Nama Sarvasya Atma Atma means Kaur Parmiti Kaur Anu, Renu, Trana, Kastiki, and Thurgat. Whether it is some article or particle or quarks, the smallest thing, undivided, which we call it Anu, Anu, Paramanu in Sanskrit. In Sanskrit, another word is the Pilu. Pilu Vada, we call it. Smallest hmm? particle. Hmm? So everywhere Paramatman is there. That is our understanding. Nothing left. Nothing, no article, no particle left. Anu, Renu, Trina, Kastha, Sarvame, Antaryami, Kerupme, Permeating Factor. Oh, he Pramatma, he is called Pramatma. So now, before we start studying of this, we offer Namaskara to Pramatma. Who is Pramatma? Sarvatma. All pervading, all pervading. These are the Sanskrit English words. All pervading, all pervading. In Sanskrit, very beautiful word called Sarva Antaryami. 
full Vedantic thought called out in a single Mangal Shloka. That is Devi, Bhumo, Tatha, Akashi, Vahihi, Antastra, Yo, Mehmi Bhu, Yo Vibhatya Vahasatma, Tasmai Sarvatmane Nama. Let us chant this well now. Chant properly. Divi Bhumo Tatha Kashi. Divi Bhumo Tatha Kashi. Yes. 
schooling started from three to